Hey guys, Alex here from AlexVegas.com and right now I have a quick review of the Solbasium Optics 180 Red Light Therapy Panel. Now this is, this is a relatively new company in the red light therapy space. I've been around for a few years now. They're based out of Australia, but the cool thing is they have an office in America and they offer free worldwide shipping on this panel. So that is, that is a big plus, especially if you're an international customer. This panel sells for just under $1,000, so it retails for $995 US dollars. Discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, will save you 5%, so that drops it down to about $950 US dollars. It's a 180 LED panel with uh, 5 watt LED chips in it, and in fact they use multi-wave technology. So they've got five wavelengths being emitted from these panels, from these LEDs. You've got 660, 850. Now 80% of the light is going to your 660 and 850, and only 20% of the light is spread between the alternative uh, wavelengths, which is 630, 810, and 830, I believe. The downside is, based on my testing, those wavelengths don't match up with what I was testing on my spectrometer. It's not a big difference, 5, 10 nanometer differences, but it is a little bit off, so that was a bit concerning. Speaking of concerning, the other problem with these, this panel is the hotspot, the polka dot effect that it's putting out. There's 30 degree beam angles on these chips, on the LED chips, so that's creating quite a narrow uh, light beam. Now, as you can see in the hotspot testing, um, it was quite bad for that even spread of light that we're looking for. Uh, so that is a big, big turn off with this panel and it's yeah probably the biggest negative about this panel and something that is potentially a deal breaker. Like it may turn a lot of people off. I know it would turn me away. The other problem is the, the LED clusters are split into three sections. So there is about an inch gap between the clusters. So you see that as well in the hotspot test. So what that means is you're not getting a nice blend of light. So that is a bummer. But on the plus side, we are getting good power readings from this Optics 180. We had a peak power, a combined peak power of 74.1 milliwatts uh, in centimeter squared. So that is a good reading. And we had a total power output for the size of 82.7 watts, which again is, is, is up there. It's not the best, but it's definitely up there. Um, and that makes the, the value proposition okay. Not amazing, not shockingly bad though. We had a, a dollar per wattage output figure of 11.4. So, uh, you know, it's, I think the best panels I've tested so far are around the $8 mark, remember lower is better, and the worst is up around the $20 mark. So it's it's on the better side of of, of the of average, but, um, you know, it's still not the best. EMF wise, no issues with electric testing, no issues with microwave, but there was some reading at the magnetic, uh, in the magnetic range, both at 6 inches and 3 inches. Not super concerning, but it was it was detectable in that concerning range um, if you're going to use it for long periods of time. And it is a bit of a bummer because most panels these days have totally mitigated all EMF. There's also no flicker in these LEDs, which is a great plus, uh, and the sound is is on the lower side as well, so that is another good thing. Control panel wise and operation wise. It's okay, but it's a rather clunky. There are a few little oddities with the control panel. Getting things set up was a bit like, oh, why does it do this and not this way? But again, that's not that, something like that shouldn't be a deal breaker. But again, uh, it's something to point out, and it's definitely you know years behind uh, panels such as the new Juve and the new Platinum LED Biomix panels. When you compare it to some of the competitors' products, there's panels out there that have more power. Come in at better price points, uh, easier to use, have better blends of light, um, have better warranties. So there's nothing really stand out about this uh, this panel. It it's kind of average across the board, kind of standard as I say in my full review. Um, but again, the main issue is that hotspot uh, issue. So that is a bummer. However, it's still worth considering if you are a buyer in Australia or somewhere else in the world and you're trying to find a panel without spending big money on shipping because the free worldwide shipping is a big plus here. Anyway, if you want to learn more about this panel, be sure to subscribe because I will be launching my full deep dive review very soon uh, and I go into everything and anything you need to know about this panel. So be sure to check out that. Otherwise, head over to Solbasium, uh, the Solbasium website and be sure to use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, if you want to save 5% on this panel. All right, guys. Give me a like, thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe for those other videos as well. See you soon. Bye.